Welcome back to my story part 2 in my journey searching for Forest Fen's treasure. It has been 4 years since Forest passed away and when the treasure was found by Jack. Many people in the community, searchers and watchers are still upset and confused with the ending. There is no solve or information to dispute Jack's story or Forest's for that matter. Just a lot of accusations. For that reason I want to share with you my story and to explain to you how another person may have been led to the final location and why I didn't get there first. Many of you will believe me, some won't but the information that I am going to share is researchable from their archives if the owners of the blogs give you access. You can do your own copy and paste of the conversations I followed to verify my story and if you look hard enough and know Jack's handle perhaps we will all learn more. Maybe just maybe Jack listened to the shows as well. I am not making this video or writing a book to harm Forrest or anyone else. This is just my beliefs that Forrest was in the chat rooms, but the real evidence is on Forrest's computer. I think we all just want the real truth and for that reason I need to take you back to 2018 and 2019. Please bear with me while I try to retrace my steps back in time. I need to start at the beginning so that you get all the information. A few likes and shares will help get the message out and may also change the conversation in the blogs. My journey began at home in 2017. Like many before me I pored over every news article out there. I never did have the first or second book of his memoir. Because I couldn't afford his books, I wasn't going to let that stop me. I downloaded a copy of his poem and studied every scrapbook. I listened to every word he would say in his interviews. Slowly my focus zeroed in on Steamboat Springs, Colorado. By October of 2018, I concentrated solely on the blogs and began watching every show. I had a hunch that Forrest was watching the shows and I also thought he could be in the chat rooms under an alias. Slowly I began eliminating people that I could put a name to and over the winter I came up with two names. Names you might recognize if you were in the chat rooms. I'm not saying who they are but their comments couldn't be explained so I started copying and pasting them into a database for later reference. At the same time I began thinking of a way to find out if either of them could be Forrest or someone close to him. In March of 2019 we headed back south to Colorado. We knew exactly where we wanted to search. The big bold F stood out like a sore thumb. But we weren't expecting so much snow. When we finally got there we learned exactly what the park was. I sent Forrest these three pictures by email introducing myself. My first contact with him by email. The next day I continued on. I wanted to know what was on that island but I bet we look pretty funny digging a bunch of holes in four feet of snow. On the way home we stopped at Forrest's favorite spot, sunburn and all. I played my hunch and even though I wasn't successful in finding the treasure we headed home with hope for a response from the chat rooms. If you can recognize this city, you know how long my drive was each trip. In part 3, I will share with you the names I was following and their responses, you will also learn what I learned which changes the whole game.